there. Welcome to today's video. Today I'm gonna go through an exercise that I basically make everybody do in a jump lesson with every young horse. It doesn't matter, it's a really simple exercise and it's something that every horse can learn from. I've got this new fancy gadget in my ear, so I'm hoping you can hear me quite well. It's a bit different to sort of just yelling. Actually, I think I am yelling. Sorry if that's really loud, maybe I should settle down. It is already boiling, I'm sweating. <laughs> anyway, so let's get down to it. I'm also going to go through warm-up exercises, distances for the walk poles and the trot poles. But we'll start off with that. First up, walk poles. Okay, I'm going to show you how I set them up. Put your first pole down, starting with your feet behind the pole. One big step. And then your goes right where your feet end. Then you do the next one. Now often you find as you walk along, distance keeps changing. So what I do once they're all up, I start again. One, two, three. Three. Last one's a bit far, roll it in. Done. You may also have to adapt this depending on the horse. If you have a larger horse, it's going to take a bigger stride. If you've got a smaller horse, it might not manage, okay? To start to gain confidence, you don't want the horse reaching and struggling and missing the poles and standing on the poles. So you want to adapt to that horse can do it easily and confidently. When you've got a more experienced horse or the horse is managing the poles easily, you can then increase the distance. Then you can encourage the horse to sort of stretch. Set them up, perhaps how I have. I'll show you how many pigeon steps so you can figure it out. You might have short legs compared to me. I have pretty short legs, okay, so. Three pigeon steps. And I've got a size eight women's Australian foot. I can't remember what that is in UK. I feel like it's a 39 Europe. Does that help? I don't know. Find out the stride your horse does and then get off, walk it in pigeons. That's basically one foot at the back of the front. And then you know for next time, but it is much easier if you know just for your normal stride length, because that makes it a lot easier. Okay, trot poles, same deal. But rather than starting with your foot on the outside of the pole, you're gonna start with your foot on the inside. One big step, mm. pole goes just where the foot ended. You just keep going the whole way along. Good exercise for horses and riders to concentrate on themselves. So the rider can concentrate on their position, keeping the horse straight and in a rhythm. The horse can concentrate on the jump. The poles help to guide the horse where to take off and to think about landing. It's an exercise you don't need to go mad with height. I generally would never go above about a meter. Hope you guys can use it. So this exercise, I'll start off in trot. Two and a half large steps from the cross pole. One, two, and a bit. Make a little line in the sand. We're gonna roll our pole out to that point. And I'm gonna turn around and check that distance because it always seems to go skew with. One, two, and a bit. Okay, so we've got a pole in front and behind the jump. One, two, and a bit. One, two, and a bit. Otherwise, you can get out your tape measure, measure two and a half meters. Out of interest, let's see what I've done. Just do my two and a half steps. Oh, it's not even long enough. And a half, pretty much bang on. Otherwise, get out your tape measure, measure two and a half meters each side of the cross pole, put your pole down. Easy peasy. But if you can work out how many steps you do for that two and a half, it makes it much easier than having to remember to bring up your tape measure to the original each time. So I just jumped Foxy through the exercise I showed you before and she was super. The aim is to go steady. If you can try and encourage them to stretch a little bit longer and lower, what that does with this exercise, it's really good at getting them to use their back and lift their wither. So that's the aim. 